Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss about the MCQs on general microbiology and this is the 11th part of the series of 500 MCQs on microbiology. So let's start the question answer session on microbiology with explanation. So the first question is egg containing media are sterilized by autoclaving, indelization, inspissation, filtration and the right answer is option C that is inspissation. Inspissation and inspissation process is a process heating at 80 to 85 degrees Celsius for half an hour daily on three successive days where serum or egg media are sterilized. Okay, so next question is inspissation is heating for three successive days at 75 to 75 to 80 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes, 75 to 80 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes or 100 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes or 100 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. And the right one is option A that is 75 to 80 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. <clears throat> and the next question is indicated used in triple sugar iron agar is phenol red, cresol red, neutral red or and reds. And the right answer is option A that is phenol red is used for the indicator of triple sugar iron agar and this triple sugar iron agar this is the uh, tube of triple sugar iron agar and triple sugar means here three sugar molecule are present that are the lactose sucrose and glucose are present for the growth of microorganisms okay so in the next question that is indicator used in crescentins ureus media is phenol red, cresol red, neutral red or and red. So and the right answer is option A. Phenol red is used as an indicator in crescentins ureus medium. And the test, the ureus test is the test where the test organism is cultured in a medium which containing urea and the indicator phenol red. And when the strain is ureus producing, the enzyme will break down the urea by hydrolysis to give ammonia and carbon dioxide. With the release of ammonia, the media becomes alkaline as shown by a change in color of the indicator to pink red, like this. This is the ureus positive uh, color, okay, pink color. And the next, that is move on to the next question, that is indicator used in salmon citrate medium is bromothymol blue, methylene blue, phenol red or cresol red. And the right answer is option A, that is bromothymol blue is the indicator for simon citrate agar and this is the simon citrate agar in normal and if the media develop blue color from green from green to blue color then it indicates growth of bacterium in is occurred because the citrate because that microorganism use the citrate as the carbon source and move from and change the color from green to blue so this is the uh, <coughs> citrate positive simon citrate positive culture okay so move on to the next question that is indicator used in decarbo decarboxylase medium is promocresol purple cresol red both of the above or none of the above and the right answer is option c that is both of the above are indicator used in decarboxylase medium and that are the bromocresol blue and cresol red and this is and this determines the enzymatic activity of an organism to decarboxylate or hydrolyze an amino acid to form an amine with the liberation of carbon dioxide. So this test is used to determine uh, how an organism <coughs> decarboxylate or hydrolyze an amino acid to form an amine with the liberation of carbon dioxide. Okay, so move on to the next question that is TSI agar detects sugar fermentation, gas production, H2S production or all of the above and the right answer is option D that is all of the above. So TSI agar or triple sugar iron agar used for the sugar fermentation that means they have three sugars lactose, sucrose and glucose and depending on the use of the sugars by the microorganisms we can differentiate them okay and we can uh, see the gas production by the microorganisms and we can uh, <coughs> test the H2S production or hydrogen sulfide production by this TSI agar slant okay and move on to the next question that is and here we can see these are the this is the first this is the media for TSI agar slant okay where glucose lactose sucrose peptone and amino acid are present okay so depending on the acid production or depending on the CO2 production or acid pro, uh, or uh, 
sugar fermentation different color are made Dif this is the h2s production if h2s is produced by the microorganism then media will be black okay and if the gas production then media will look this okay and if acid produced by the microorganism then uh, it will show a yellow color okay so in this way we can detect the microorganisms by this TSI agar slant okay so move on to the next question that is one Armstrong unit is equivalent to one thousandth of a millimeter ten thousandth of a millimeter one millionth of a millimeter or ten millionth of a millimeter and the right answer is option D that is ten millionth of a millimeter so one angstrom means ten millionth million means ten to the power six and one millimeter means ten to the power three so if we add this ten to the power nine so one Armstrong is ten to the power minus ten meter okay so and 10 millionth means 10 millionth means 10 to the power 7 and millimeter is 10 to the power 3 so 10 to the power minus 10 meter is equal to 1 angstrom okay so move on to the next that is 1 micron is equivalent to 1000th of a millimeter 10,000th of a millimeter 1 millionth of a millimeter 10 millionth of a millimeter and the right answer is option a 1000th of a millimeter 1000 means 10 to the power 3 and 1 millimeter is 10 to the power 3 and so 10 to the power 6 so 1 angstrom is 10 to the power minus 6 meter okay so move on to the next that is brown's tube or green spot is used for the sterilization control of dry heat moist heat inspiration or tindalization and the right answer is option b moist heat or autoclave so to uh, measure the sterilization uh, either uh, whether sterilization occurred perfectly or not so to see that or to measure this so brown tube or green spot is used as a sterilization control so this is used as a and here as a biological element uh, the strip containing spores of bacillus streptothermophilus is used and if the process has been satisfactory dark brown strip will appear across the tape that and this is a uh, chemical process and in biological process strips containing spores of bacillus streptothermophilus is used and here the chemical indicator brown tube or glass tube that contain heat sensitive dyes this changes color after sufficient time at the desired temperature before heat exposure the contents of the tube appear red as heating progresses the color changes to green okay so this is the tube of brown tube this is the no this is known as the brown tube okay so move on to the next question that is for preparation of chocolate agar blood is added to nutrient agar at a temperature of 40 degrees celsius 50 degrees celsius 70 degrees celsius or 90 degrees celsius and the right answer is option b 50 degree in 50 degrees celsius in chocolate agar blood is added to the nutrient agar okay so move on to the next question that is liqu liquid used in blood culture bottle act as a anticoagulant or counteract bactericidal action of blood or both of the above or none of the above and the right answer is option C that is both of the above so liquid is used as an anticoagulant and counteract bactericidal action of blood and this liquid is known as sodium polyanethyl sulfonate is a constituent in culture medium used to grow bacteria from blood sample from patients suspected of bacteremia okay so move on to the next question that is bacteria can be isolated in pure culture by surface plating of media use of selective media pre-treatment of specimens with appropriate bactericidal substances or all of the above and the right answer is option d that is all of the above are used for uh, used for isolation of pure culture and move on to the next question that is gram negative organisms have thin cell wall high lipid content both of the above and none of the above and the right answer is option c both of the above so gram negative bacteria have both thin cell wall and high lipid content so this is the gram negative so this is the plasma membrane of gram negative bacteria and this is the peptidoglycan layer so here you can see a thin layer of peptidoglycan is present in gram negative bacteria and this is the outer membrane of the gram negative bacteria so lipid content is high Lipid content is high in gram negative bacteria, but in gram positive bacteria, this is the plasma membrane and this is the peptidoglycan layer. So, this is the thick peptidoglycan layer present in gram positive bacteria, but there is no outer membrane present in 
gram positive bacteria so their lipid content is low so move on to the next question that is epidemic strain are characterized by biotyping serotyping antibiogram or all of the above and the right answer is option d all of the above and here an epidemic disease is one affecting many persons at the same time and spreading from person to person in a locality where the disease is not permanently prevalent okay next question is universal precautions include testing each patient's blood for hiv antibodies testing each patient's blood for hepatitis b antigen uh, or use of protective barriers by healthcare workers or protection only against hiv infected patients and the right answer is option c so universal precautions include use of protective barriers by health care workers okay so next question is antimicrobial sensitivity test in vitro is affected by ph of medium size of inoculum stability of drug or all of the above the right answer is option d all of the above and this is the antibiotic antimicrobial sensitivity test which is known as kirby ware disk diffusion method so here this is a this is a inoculated agar media where bacteria are already present in this media or in this agar okay and then we add a antibiotic disk where different 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 antibiotic are present in different disk okay so after incubation we will measure the zone of inhibition by all the antibiotics so uh, so measuring the zone of inhibition so we can say whether uh, one uh, antibiotic is effective to that bacteria or not okay so if a, a higher zone of inhibition that that means that antibiotic is more sensitive or more sensitive to that uh, bacteria okay they kill more to that back to ba that bacteria okay so next question is after fumigation of operation theater formaldehyde is neutralized by ammonia vapor formal uh, forma formamide caustic soda caustic soda or none of the above and the right answer is option a ammonia vapor is used to neutralize formaldehyde after fumigation of operation theater and the toxicity of formaldehyde vapor should be neutralized with ammonia solution and place a cotton ball and pour 300 ml of 10% ammonia for each 500 ml of formaldehyde used on the floor of surgical theater at least 4 hours so move on to the next question that is all our methods of antimicrobial susceptibility testing except kirby bayer stokes or resistant ratio or kinyons and the right answer is option d that is kinyon is the only except only uh, process that is not used for antimicrobial susceptibility test so we have already you already discussed the kirby bayer disk diffusion method for antimicrobial susceptibility testing and here now we will see the stoke sensitivity test so here the test bacterium is inoculated here and here the control bacterium is inoculated by which the both and here the different antibiotic is used antibiotic x and antibiotic y is inoculated here added here and here we will see whether the antibiotic is susceptible or resistance to this bacterium so here we can see that there is no zone of inhibition in this bacteria so this is the this bacteria is resistant to this antibiotic but here we can see there is a zone of inhibition present in this bacterial culture so we can say this bacterium is sensitive to this antibiotic okay so this is a antimicrobial susceptibility testing so move on to the next question that is lavenstein jensen medium does not contain coagulated x horse serum malicite green or glycerol and the right answer is option b that is horse serum is not present in lavenstein jensen so here we can see composition of lavenstein lavenstein jensen medium so these are the ingredients okay so there is no horse serum present and the next one is the following are amino glycosides amino glycosides except amikacin natilicin net net natilmycin natilmycin or topramycin or vancomycin and the right answer is option d 
that is vancomycin is not a amino glycoside because vancomycin is a type of glycopeptide antibiotic and work by blocking the construction of a cell wall of the bacteria and amino glycosides amino glycosides are protein synthesis inhibitor they are bactericidal they inhibit protein synthesis of bacteria by irreversibly binding to the 30th subunit of the ribosome of bacteria okay so move on to the next question and here also we can see these are the amino glycosides topramycin amikacin neomycin zentamycin streptomycin okay and next one is the citrate positive bacteria is or are providencia retrograde salmonella paratyphi b pseudomonas aeruginosa or all of the above and the right answer is option d all of the above are citrus positive bacteria and citrate utilization test this is a citrate utilization test the citrate that is and the media is known as simon citrate agar and the citrate use in citrate utilization test is used to determine the ability of an organism using the enzyme citrates to use citrate as its sole carbon source okay and it used occasionally to assist the identification of enteroactor so move on to the next that is ureas positive bacteria is or are enterobacter enterobacter gergevi gergevi and provi providencia sturdy and vibrio colidi or all of the above and the right answer is option a and here is the ureas test the test organism is cultured in a medium which contain urea and phenol red and when the ureas is if the ureas is produced then the enzyme will break down the urea and produce the ammonia and carbon dioxide and uh, due to ammonia the alkalinity will be increased and it will show the pink red color okay so move on to the next that is ureas positive bacteria is or are enterobacter gergevi or klebsiella pneumoniae or proteus mirabilis or all of the above and the right answer is option d that is all of the above are ureas positive bacteria and the last question is all are non motile except Acinetobacter, Pseudomonas, Salmonella, Pulorum, or Shigella dysentery, and the right answer is option B. That is, Pseudomonas is non-motile, and all are the motile bacteria. Okay, so these are the all question-answer session with explanation on microbiology. Okay, thank you for watching this video.